there is some mass hysteria out there in regard to COVID-19 right now. So much that now people are claiming their friends and families are a nuisance to society because some of them choose not to get vaccinated. Let's take an unedited look at the number of cases we are seeing in regard to COVID-19, but also the purposefully less mentioned death rate. So today we're just going to go straight through the CDC website. As you can tell here, um, CDC, uh, the COVID data tracker, and we're just going to work or look through some of the data ourselves. I think it's important that we can actually see it. So this isn't going to be edited or anything of the sort. So I don't get, you know, like the little bands that you get on Facebook talking about COVID-19 uh, misinformation, especially they're, they're using that misinformation versus disinformation stuff. So you got to be careful. But anyways, we're just going to look at it as we go forward. Now, everyone's talking about the increase in race or increase in cases. That is definitely happening. If we look here, you can see the obvious curve where it was down and it's going back up in regard to cases. Um, let's see. Uh, from here, if we take a look at the top, at the highest in the U.S. during the peak, they were seeing 313,000 new cases. <laughs> Um, and then today they saw 53,000. So it's down significantly. But let's take a look at some of the states. Let's take a uh, look at Arizona first. That's where I'm at. So Arizona, yep, Arizona has an increase in cases. Let's see about California is right there. California has an, has some increase in cases too. Uh, what about Texas? Texas is the greatest state ever. Just want to let y'all know. Um, that's initially where I'm from. Uh, Texas, where are you at on here? Texas. Texas, are they seeing it? Yep, Texas is seeing the increase. They are seeing the increase in cases. And lastly, let's go ahead and check out. Actually, no, let's take out two more places. Let's go Florida. Everyone hates Ron DeSantis for some reason. I mean, he seems like he's doing a pretty good job, but that's my biased opinion. Florida. Uh, Florida, huge increase, sharp increase. Yep, increase in cases. Uh, let's go to, and lastly, New York. I think New York is split into New York City and New York State here. Yep, excludes New York City. Actually, I just want to do New York City. Um, that's where they have the big stuff. So let's take a look at that one. New York is indeed seeing increase in cases. Um, as you see here. At their highest, they were having 7,000, almost 8,000 new cases. Um, and here they had, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm <laughs> dozing off there. Uh, 1,000 new cases. Um, that's what they were at yesterday or the day before yesterday. Yesterday, 1,000 new cases. Now, yes, there is definitely an increase in cases, but is that what we should be focused on? Is that really where we need to be focused on? Because when we were talking about before um, lowering the curve, or just in general, when we talk about why we don't want people to get sick, it's because we don't want them to die. So, yes, if there are more cases, there are more instances, there's going to be a higher rate in death. That's just what it is. Um if you don't have anyone, if you don't have any new cases, you're not going to have any new deaths. The more new cases you have, of course, you're going to have the likelihood of more new deaths. But we have to look at, we have to actually take a look at the deaths or the death rate of COVID. We're talking about a lot about the different um, cases, the increase in cases, but we're not talking about the actual death rate. So let's actually look at some of these things as well. Again, yes, New York had a direct increase in regard to um, the amount of cases. So let's take a look at New York's daily death rate. Excuse me. Uh, death rate. It is a noticeable decrease. A noticeable decrease. As a matter of fact, let's just take a look specifically at what it was. New York City at its height had 814 deaths a day from COVID. And as of yesterday, they were three. That's like a factor of 250, 260. They decreased by a factor of like 250. Okay. 
three deaths, I guess. I, I, I mean, I don't understand why people are concerned there. Okay, whatever it is. Let's work our way backward like we did uh, before. So what was the Texas? Texas, Texas, Texas. Where are you at? Texas. Texas looks like they've increased a, a little bit. Theirs has increased their... Actually, let's take a look at their um, cases. Their cases have definitely gone up a lot. And their deaths have definitely gone up as well. Not nearly to the same effect. But let's put this in the big picture. Um, let's see. Texas. At their high, they're having 387 deaths a day from COVID, which is a lot less than New York, which people really clown on Texas compared to New York or Florida. <laughs> Anyways, um, 387 deaths a day. And they are at, <laughs> they're at five. So it looks like they increased a little bit. They went down, they increased, and they started to go back down. Uh, yeah. Okay. Five from, what is that? 387. I don't know what that is. What is that? Like a factor of 70? They decreased by a factor of 70. Roger. Let's go to Florida. The one everyone hates. Um, again, I don't think Florida was that bad. Uh, I guess that's my biased opinion, but everyone talks about Florida being so bad and they don't really talk about New York. Let's go to Florida. Where are you at? Florida. Florida. They have decreased as well. It looks like their seven day average increased a little bit, but, um, even from their days, it's still down. Let's see. At their peak, Florida. <laughs> Everyone talks about how bad Florida was. New York was in 800. That was the city. New York City was in 800 something. Florida at its peak was 272 deaths a day. And remember, Florida has a massive older population. 272 deaths a day. And compared to yesterday, they are at 28. Um, that's a factor of 10, maybe, maybe a little under. They've decreased by a factor of 10. Right, so deaths are down in all of these states. Um, let's see. What are some other ones that we did? California. Let's take a look at California. California decrease, decrease, decrease. They got a little bit, they got a little something right there at the end. Uh 23. Let's take a look at where they were at the beginning. California was at seven. California and New York had more deaths a day than Texas and Texas and Florida. Yet Texas and Florida were on the news every day as the worst places for COVID. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. 705 deaths a day at their top. And yesterday they were at 23. That's a factor of 30 ish. They've decreased by a factor of 30. Yeah. And the last one, let's take a look at Arizona. Again, since Arizona is where I'm at. Arizona is like at some weird thing. They didn't even really increase there. They've just, they've done some weird stuff. At the top, Arizona was at, uh, come on, I'll find it. 335 cases a day or 335 deaths a day. And they had how many cases did they had zero deaths yesterday? Uh, let's take the last look at America as a whole. U.S. as a whole was. Yeah, we've got a little. It looks like a little increase. Um, I can't tell if it's flattening out or yet, but we're still down even from the sharp part here. Um, at their top, America was at 4,000. Roughly 4,800. I can't really. 45, almost 4,600 deaths a day. And they were at two, they were at 286 yesterday. Um, that's like a factor of 15, maybe 16, something like that. We have seen drastic decreases in the deaths, which is what we want. Uh, we've seen drastic decreases in the deaths from COVID-19. Yes, we are seeing a bit of increases, but the fact that's annoying the crap out of me is we talk about 
um, going back to the mask. If you want to wear your mask, please wear your mask. That is your choice. You do risk analysis yourself. Um, it is not my job to do risk analysis for you. If you have um, health conditions that might be uh, detrimental to you in regards to if you caught COVID, please take care of yourself. Get the vaccine. Take the mask. Do what you need to do. I've personally already gotten the vaccine. That was my choice. But I am over wearing the freaking mask. I'm just saying. Lastly. This is what we see so far, and not everyone is vaccinated. Uh, actually, let's go back to the top. Yes, right here it says 69.1% of adults with at least one vaccination. That doesn't tell you or break it down. It might, if I clicked on it, um, it might break it down into the Johnson & Johnson. So many people have gotten the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is a one shot. So that means they are completely done. Cool. Solid. But that... I mean, if we see that 61% of adults already have it, they have the one shot. I imagine if they took the time to go ahead and get the vaccine the first time, they are waiting for the month to finish or they're waiting for an opportunity uh, to take the next vaccine. We're almost at 70% of adults getting vaccinated. That doesn't even talk about children, of course. Uh, they're in the works of opening up to children and stuff like that. We are, we have an enormous amount of people who are vaccinated. You want to tell those people that they need to go ahead and put on a mask again? Uh, I'm just going to let you know, there's going to be a lot of people upset with that. A lot of people upset with it. And you're going to lose faith in a lot of people who you need to go ahead and get the vaccine again. They're going to be like, if I have to go ahead and wear a mask anyways, they're not going to do it. The, again, this is your choice. You know what I'm saying? You do whatever you want. Uh, it's not my life. I suggest getting the vaccine. Most of my family is not for getting the vaccine. Um, but that's, like I said, that's up to you. A lot of us are just sick of wearing the mask and the idea of going back to the mask is going to be, to, going to be a problem. If you cannot decide if what people are saying in regard to data is important, go ahead and look at it yourself. Do the calculations yourself. You can find it, of course, here, like, on the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Of course, if you go to like New York Times, they'll have some of this stuff too, but they'll present the information that they think is um, important to push their agenda or their narrative. Um, I'm not saying that their data will be wrong, but of course they might push more cases. It's on the rise. The cases are on the rise. We're seeing a lot of cases scaring people, getting them you know, worked up about it, but forget to notice that we are still way down in deaths by factors of some places 70. Um, we're, we're doing a little bit too much. Please use the information yourself to make a, a great decision. Other than that, I'm going to just leave it to you guys. Please go ahead again. Take a look at the CDC's website yourself and have a good day.